Hi and welcome. We're the Weasley Sisters. I'm Naturally Nitty, aka Jessica, and this is episode 140. And I am Alina, aka Starnet. I almost said Naturally Nitty. <laughs> no. Starnet. Today is March 24th. This is our weekly podcast. If, um, if this is your first time watching, thanks for watching. If you're a returning watcher, thanks for coming back. And dealing with us. <laughs> um, so grab a chair, pull up a... <laughs> grab your knitting, pull up a chair, and craft along with us. Ooh, We're way good. Out, way out of it tonight. <laughs> you should have seen the... <laughs> debacle before the podcast i wish we had it taped mm. jessica was moving the light it was quite funny yeah all right so moving on to whips <laughs> do you want to go yes so i don't know if i told you last time but i finally just Cast on like 200 and maybe 213. Yeah, you weren't sure if you wanted to continue or. Yeah, so I ripped out and cast on 200 or 213, I couldn't remember, and just started a seed stitch Ooh. owl. I like seed stitch. And I'm just this far. It's pretty. Are you liking it? Yeah, I really like the yarn and I like the colors. So yeah, Beautiful. that's all. All right. Um, I don't have much either. Just my newt items left. Um. Oh, that's right. My socks. I finished the toes. Ooh, fancy! And I just picked up the stitches by the um I I'm not thinking the afterthought heel I have to cut it out and then do the heels and then they're done so yay um six days to do it yeah I'll do I'll start them tonight I'll probably finish them tonight or tomorrow um and then I also have my Nell sweater, or should I say Katie's Nell sweater? Um, it is pretty much finished. Cool. Except for I need to weave in ends. But Are you going to get to see her to take pictures? I don't think so. I'll, I'll take pictures of myself or something. That sucks, um, but yay, this, that looks really good. It is like crappy lighting, but yeah. So there's the collar. That I knit. And I even knit the belt. It looks good. <laughs> and I. Where's Jessica? <laughs> and I see. There she is! Seen the arms on. It looks really good. Um, but it needs to be blocked. I didn't block it before seaming or anything. Um, but yeah. So. I did something different with the seaming. Instead of a lot of times I'll do it like facing the right side of the fabric and um not mattress stitch but do yeah. it so it looks good. Not that this doesn't look good, but on the directions it said to do back stitching. Oh really? So I did that and it creates a bigger seam. But um like, if you look at store-bought sweaters, like, bigger things, like, they have the seams, and I think it creates more of the structure. Yeah, and it helps hold it, like, on your shoulders and yeah. stuff. So, I did that, and I think I like it. Um, yeah. And I didn't have to, like, fight with, like, how many stitches to pick up, like, every two of this to every three of that. You know, like, when you're seaming arms in to armholes and not fun um so it was kind of easy but fun so I'm glad to be done I just need to seam or weave stitches I 
the brain not working. Weave in ends and block. And okay. Then, and then give it away. <laughs> I'm ironing, so I was just folding this fabric, but I just have to show you it. It's like my most favorite color ever. It's pretty. Look at how awesome that is. Very cool. And it's like the best green ever. Like I saw it on the shelf and I had to get it. And then normally I buy like the outside fabric first. Yeah. And match. I bought this. This is which is inside fabric and matched it with the fabric. That's awesome. Because I'm that weird. No. If you like a fabric, you like a fabric. It was mainly the color for that. that I like. <laughs> That's okay. But I mean, I like the design. All right. So, spinning, do you have any? <laughs> no. You've been doing some plying. Not lately. Oh, okay. Not within the past two weeks. Okay. Um, so, Currently, there's no knitting, spinning, or crochet. There is only sewing. That's okay. Um, currently, I am spinning some Nerd Girl yarn fiber. Fiber of the month, I believe it was. Um, I have this and then another, I'll say, ounce left. Because I split okay. it into four. Um, yeah. to do. I'm spinning that on my matchless, my shot matchless. And then, oh, I didn't grab that. I think it's downstairs. Ooh. Um, or is it over there? I don't know. I'm not getting it. I, oh, I can show you on my phone. I, Got out my um, mini Turkish spindle the other day because I've been like de stashing, well, not stashing, but de crapifying our house. And I was going through stuff and I was like, I never spin on this thing. So I got it out and then I was like, I'm going to spin a Rolag just, you know, for a sample. And I started to really like it. So then. I applied that sample and I spun another one in a different colorway. And then, let me find it. There's one. Um, so it's tiny, it's like this big. It fits in my hand. Um, Where did you get that? I ordered this like, I think it was three years ago. It's from Threads Through Time, T H R U time um on etsy and they make all sorts of wooden things um so it was i used birthday money on it i think for mom and dad so i was thinking giving or like giving it to someone but now i like it for spinning little samples of my stuff because it'll be good to have like fun samples of my things right yes mm -hmm. and it and it's small enough that you can carry it around. Not yeah. that spindles aren't easily carried around. I have, you know, a hard case for glasses, like those eggshell, clamshell case, I mean? Yeah. I have one of those that I keep it in. Now I want a small one like that. Really cute and fun. It's because I like things. I have seen a lot of these on Instagram. And I also blame my friend Carrie Collins. Um who watches the show so hi um she's been spinning lately and she had ordered a turtle made oh i don't know if you can see that the light's not hitting it. anyways it says it on here turtle made spindle is it made by a turtle yes <laughs> no but it's 3d printed cool and you can pick whatever colors you want which is totally awesome. It took me like a week or two of deciding what I wanted. At first what I was like, run? what? What is the price range? This one is the standard size. It's about, I think it's seven inches and it's about an ounce. Um, $15. That's 
That's not bad. No. They make little mini ones, which I was just going to say. And I think they're on... I think they're all around 15, um, maybe to 20 at the most. What, she what also flavor? makes these cute, they're, I think they're about this big from what the pictures see, nitty knotties that fit together like this. So it comes out and you can like store it flat. Oh, that's cool. But then, it, but, and it's plastic and you can pick whatever colors. She has glow in the dark color. <gasps> I love glow. All sorts of like. Couple okay. different greens, purples, Purple, orange, pink, pink, black. Is it on Etsy? Yes. I'm writing this down. Totally awesome. Um, anyways, so it's been like I got it just the other day and I started spinning on it um, ASAP. I started with a batlet and now I'm working on a Roleg. Cool. Um, but, but yeah, here I can. See, but it it spins nice. Oh, that's cool. And it seems to spin forever. Um, I should do this so it doesn't <gasps> get all bunched. I'm on I'm on Etsy on my phone. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, I have I'm money. super impressed with it. Also, if my children. Okay, I've broken a couple different spindles. Like, I had a glass one was my first one, and I've had to glue it a couple times. Me I've too. had a few wooden ones snap, like the shaft. And, like, I'm always, I have four kids, and I'm a klutz myself. So this. And they're drop spindles. Look, she has replacement. Totally awesome, right? See that? Is that too bright? No, I can see it. Yeah. Um,. So I was like, if my kids ever want to learn to spin, I won't care if they're spinning on this because A, it's plastic. It's probably not going to break. And if it does, it's really not that expensive. It's very and reasonable. Tur Turkish spindles are good because you can take them out and you have like a center pole ball. Yes. I love that actually. Um, so totally awesome. I love it. I'm totally adding one to my cart right now as we speak. <laughs> What colors are you getting? I think I will do green and maybe pink. Awesome. Oh, these triquette ones, how do you say that, are yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. These bottom whirl ones. Those are pretty, yeah. I just love a Turkish spindle. I don't know why. Um. So, yeah. So, I've been spinning on this. and Oh, did you see these one. cute dizzes? They're turtles. Yes. Do you see the nitty knotty? Yeah, that's really cool. I, except for I have a small nitty knotty. I bought one, a small one, but I thought it was small, and it's really not much smaller than my normal nitty knotty. Maybe I should de-stash it and get a mini one, because for little mini skeins, it would be cool to have. I have one. It's just, just like a, a mini. mini one. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can pick the shaft color, too? Yes, and if you want two different arm colors, you have to write, you pick one because there's only two option spots, and then you write the, the second arm color just in the comments or note to seller. I want glow in the dark for sure. Okay, so um, that's awesome. Any other spinning going on? Um, no. But, okay, so this is my latest um, Rolag. You can't really see the colors all that well. Um, I think they're kind of fun. Can you look, Alina, and not be I'm obsessed sorry. with your spindle? I'm getting a spindle. That's so funny. Um, um I'm going to get glow white and sea. I don't know if I want sea green or I think I want sea green. What What is the name of that? Roll I don't I know yet, but it's Okay, gray. hold it back up. The other one. It's the same color, only in Rolag form. I know. I just want to see them together. Oh. It kind of reminds me of, like, the Hogwarts crest, because it has, like, all the colors. Except for, does it have green? No. Except for green. It's orange and red and blue and gray, basically. And some purple. Um, but no, I'm really loving it the color. I don't know. It makes me think of a rainbow 
on a sad, cloudy day. Dreary rainbow. Maybe sad rainbows. Dreary rainbow. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's all I have for spinning. Um, sewing. That's you. I have lots of sewing. I sewed so much stuff because I we had homespun on Sunday, and I am still sewing. Is it your display looked awesome? Yeah, thank you. And I actually went to the store today to get some fabric because I have some, um, like usually when I go to a show, I have, um, I'll put down my order. I, you know, I, uh, I have like, I make a few and I see, see what sells. So then I'll, I'll make more. And I have this superhero fabric. That I've used, yeah. and I bought, like, a ton at one time. So, it sold out, so I went to get some more um, inside fabric for it. Mm -hmm. And, um, so, like, the inside fabric, it says BAM and POW. That's awesome. It's like those mitts that have it on there. Yeah. So I got that. I went to get that, and then I went to get some space fabric, and I walked out. <laughs> With a big old pile? Yes. Like, a ton. Like, I went, I needed to get those two fabrics and some more interfacing, and it was all on sale, so I got some really fun fabric, and so now I'm ironing while we're talking, and I'm not awesome. ordering. But I've been doing so much sewing. So last time we talked, I think I was sewing, what, pink or, or something? Maybe. Yeah. I sewed blue and and brown and uh, yellow. Today I was sewing black, and I started on yellow again. So lots of sewing. I have a child, though. That's all. Do you want to say not hi on the, on the – it's podcast – Okay. <laughs> it's like no. You should totally say hi, whoever you are. Come say hi. It's Gabe. Yes, Gabe. Be famous to our viewers. You'll be famous. Hi. Gabe, hi, Gabe. This way. What's up, dude? This is Gabe. He's eleven and out of bed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're in trouble. Good night. I love you. Good night. <laughs> Um, so, Jim. Jim, I have been doing Payo, well, not the last two days, but I'll talk about that in a minute, but, um, I'm really liking it. Um, it's a good workout, and I'm not jumping, and it's not hurting my feet or legs. Well, cool. It's a little iffy on my wrists, but those were a little iffy to begin with, um, and the chiropractor is helping with them anyway, so I'm not too worried about it, but I'm liking it. So, yay me. Have you done any cardio knitting? You've been spin uh, sewing a lot, so that's... Yeah, and um, setting up and taking down a booth is a lot of work. Especially walking up and downstairs. Okay, so random randomness. Randomly, I'm still ordering. I decided to get the shaft as glow in the dark. <laughs> And green. What should I go with green? It seriously took me forever. I wanted, I was thinking of getting this, the light green or the spring green, but I went with the sea green for mine because I thought it would go with the, because I wanted orange and then I liked the purple with the orange and then I was thinking like the light green, but then I liked this color green with it anyways, but I'm happy with it. And she was so sweet because I like, she's really nice. Um, Jen, I think her name is. I, um... On the comment, I was like, it took me about a week just to figure out what colors I wanted. And uh, she she messaged me and was like, she's like, I can show you a picture, you know, just in case. Like with the, you know, assembled thing and you can change it out if you don't like it or whatever. But I liked it. Um, so good customer service is awesome. Anyways, so I don't know. What would you say? Glow in the dark and green? 
and I'm getting the sea green, and then I'm going to type in the dark green, and I'm just going to be green, green and glowy. That's awesome. Um, very cool. Randomly, we have been. I have been doing the 40 bags in 40 days thing, which isn't really for Lent for me. I'm just trying to like declutter the house because it's hard to keep a house clean when there's clutter everywhere, right? So I've been doing good. Then um, yesterday and today we did some building. Um, I don't know if you've seen Anna White, the website. She has a bunch of um, do-it-yourself instructions for, like, anything and everything, and it all looks really cool. So I can also pull up a picture of that. We I started in the basement. We have um, – I'll even show you the bad picture first. Storage issues, like, people give us clothes. Oh, I think I erased all those pictures. Let me go on Instagram. Whatever. People give us clothes. And we have stuff packed away for the kids, you know, for when they will fit into it. But anyway, so we built that. I'm, I'm so completely jealous. Now, it's basically you build these, you build, you have two legs two and then you put, and they're two by fours. It's all out of two by fours. And then you put, um... I can't even think of what this is, like a support thing in the middle. And you do it, you make however many of them, depending on how long you're going to be. It, you have to have one every at least six feet, I think it is. Um, so we made three of like the support frames. And then you just lay the two by fours across them, you know, to make the shelves. Yeah. Super easy. And you like drill them in. Boom, boom, boom. And they look really cool too. So, so we did that, and it was looked so awesome in the basement compared to what it did look. It was like crap, um, just piled upon pile. So, okay, so then this is our base, our our garage, or what it used to be. Now it's not horrible. It's not not at all. But it's not pretty or anything, right? Yeah. So we took everything out. And then we built the shelves. Oops. Oh, that looks really cool. Oops. It's just today? Yeah. So this, the other one, um, Joe's mom had a bunch of wood from, like, she had her basement redone, the walls, they were bad. Anyways, so she had a bunch of wood, so we used mostly wood that we had, or she had. This one, we went and bought all the wood. But to make this one, I think the wood was about 57 Yay. I just ordered it. <laughs> I think the wood was $57 total, which isn't too bad. I've spent more money on worse things. So this yeah, is what it looks like now. Good. We even made like a little spot for the garbage can. So those big, what'd you do with those big shelves that were there? The one on the black that, ones? Yeah. Um, that we, we took them down, but I want to put them downstairs um, in the extra... The yarn room, which really isn't a yarn room now because I don't have yarn in it. There's some fiber in there, but I need to go through there. That's a room that I haven't decluttered. The yet. dungeon is what I we call it. Let's okay, see. the dungeon. Even so. when it was the yarn room, we called it the dungeon. Because if you sleep down there, it's so pitch black and cold, and it's like the dungeon. So it's like the Slytherin common room. Not even cool like that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so right now down there, there's like these cabinets on the wall and we have like you know extra flour and sugar and some pasta and you know like stuff like that down there so i want to put those black shelves on the wall on a different wall and put our canned goods our extra canned goods down there because right now they're in the garage and in the winter things freeze and you know how hard it is to like make chili when you have frozen beans no, I don't. How well, hard is it? It's hard. <laughs> Especially when it's like a last minute thing and you're trying to just make something quick. Anyways. Um, so I thought it'd be cool just to have it I down there. I actually don't know because I don't really like chili. Oh, well, we like chili. Um, so anyways, but like everything, like we have a bunch of canned stuff that we keep out there. You know, when things aren't sale, we stock up. Anyways, 
So I want to put that down there and move all that down there. That's smart. Yes. You could just make that whole room like a pantry shelf. And then you don't have to worry about Tallulah getting your fiber. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway, so that's the plan for now. I still have to go through the kids' toys and that fiber room. And there's a few drawers and different, like, junk areas of the house to go through. But a lot of it I need to ask um, Dad and see if there's things I can get rid of. Because they're not actually mine. But, like, if you don't use something for more than a year, you don't need it. Yeah, like everything that's in my shed. That's my theory. Yep. And we're going th we, we're going through bikes and stuff, and we're only keeping... Because we have a ton of bikes for some reason. It's um, because you, you upgrade when you, you get older kids. Right. Well, and people give us stuff, so, you know, it's nice to have free stuff. Well, it's nice it. when you have extra bikes when we come visit. Well, no, that's what I was going to say. We're, we're going to keep two extra for your girls. Um, but that's it. Everything else is going. And... But Madison, you don't necessarily have to keep them for Madison because she's at that age where she doesn't care to do anything but be on her phone. Well, we have some big ones, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so, what was I just going to say? Okay, so Jared and Shewin came, our brother and sister-in-law, and they're about to have a baby in like two weeks, which I didn't I realize was coming so soon. So we threw them a little baby shower, which I'm going to show another picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Um, I thought it was adorable. We, um, I put up, oh, I put up this stuff too. It used to have, I put the kids artwork on it. Um, but I took it down for the weekend and I had the kids decorate and put up a baby shower. Shower. <laughs> it was super cute. It was. It was. Actually, it's still up. I need to take it down. <laughs> um, but it looks like the kids helped you with that, so it's still oh, kind of like oh, kids they artwork. totally did it. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn mine down. Um, so, yeah. So, they were here. And then, okay, so Thursday was Leah's birthday. So, I spent all day Wednesday baking for her treats for her school and she also wanted an ice cream cake for her dessert yeah um, on yeah it was good actually made my own hot fudge and made crunchies by um pulsing oreo well not really oreo so they're cheap kind in the food processor and then i mixed that with the fudge and put a layer of that so it's kind of like dairy queen the crunchies with the fudge oh so good yeah um, anyways, so I spent Wednesday doing that and then Thursday was her birthday and then Friday I spent, I think getting ready for the shower and Saturday we had like Awana games in the morning and then Jared and Jordan were coming that afternoon. Oh, and for Leah's birthday, they get to pick their birthday meal. She wanted a turkey and mashed potatoes. So we had, like, Thanksgiving dinner. It was great. I'm like, why don't I ever think of this for yeah. my birthday? That's I a good idea. I love Thanksgiving food. So I've been having turkey sandwiches. Good stuff. Um, so I feel like I've just been, like, going, going, going all week. I could tell you I've been going, going, going at well. Yeah, you have. So... We had a um, homespun yarn party, and about a week before a show, I go off of sleep pretty much. Not on purpose, just because I get so, like, nervous, and I have so much to do, and um, my brain just doesn't want to turn off, so I just work. So, um, homespun yarn party was on Sunday, and it was so much fun. So, I met up with... Um, my friend Pam and Hazel from the House Cup, you might know her. And we, afterwards, we went, to, well, like, she came over um, with a, with her friend, and they were, like, shopping. And then she came back with her son, 
and we all went out to dinner and we just like hung out for like two hours it was so much fun and um also i met a bunch of different like house couplers like um den bren and um so from your um nest oh i think it was it's zap ray yeah i think that's who it was I'm really bad with names, and it was, like, so loud and so crazy busy. Yeah, she's in uh, earnest. Yeah. So she came over, and she was like, I just wanted to choose you. I'm in your sister's nest. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. It is so great. um, said hi. And then some bunnies love. I talked with her. And there was uh, other people, but, I like I said, I'm really bad with names. So, But it was a lot of fun. Crazy, but a lot of fun. So at the end... There was major drama. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you about it because it's fun to talk about drama. So <laughs> we, um, you know, like you do your, uh, you take down and then you have to get out of there at a certain time. So Andy went and got the car and then um, we loaded up and he um, had pulled into this, like they had this like pull-in area. So he had pulled in and like we loaded up the car and then we were done, but other people had came and like double parked because it was like a place where you could drive in and if you park on the one the um right side you leave the left side open so you can get out well they didn't do that they parked and double parked people in so there was a guy behind andy that was just like so pissed off <laughs> and it, he wasn't from the festival he was for, like delivering to one of the shops in the area or something i don't know and he was like laying on the horn <laughs> For like five minutes. And then he tried to drive on the sidewalk. And it was like so much drama. So I'm helping. So I we are done like with my takedown. And so I'm helping like other booths like take their stuff out to their cars. So I'm taking the one. And the, there's the one um, lady I was helping. I brought stuff like her. Some of her display out with her. And the one lady she, who was uh, also another lady was helping her. And she was like. That guy in that van over there has been laying on the horn. He's, like, so mad and blah, blah, blah. And I was just kind of like, that guy, that van right there? And the then she's like, yeah. And I was like, um, I highly doubt that because I've known him for 16 years and he's never actually been that much of a jerk. And he was like, she was like, whatever. He's been laying on it for like five minutes. It was really obnoxious. And I was like, well, that's my husband. And I doubt it was him. Are you sure it was the van? And she was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And she was like so mad. And then this, this guy starts trying to drive on the sidewalk and everything. And then she's like, oh, maybe it wasn't the van. I'm like, yeah, think. <laughs> I'm like, because I have known him for quite some time. And I, he was like, because Andy was just like, oh, I know I'm not getting out of here. So I'm just going to get on my phone you know like he was just sitting there yeah. but it was funny because she was like all mad and I was like I really highly doubt it's the guy in the van because that's my husband and <laughs> it's not but I mean I understand why the I was like a little mad because the people had du double parked and they shouldn't have done that You're right but he also didn't have to fly off the handle and go so crazy either really what should have happened is the people who were double parked should have moved instead of just sitting there yeah but anyways, so there was a little drama at the end. It, it was crazy. But then we went out to dinner and had a lot of fun. I'm so, so jealous. It was fun. So I got my, so um, like, that Saturday, I we drove to, to Baltimore and um, stayed overnight. But that Saturday, I got my last Moon Rover shipment. So pretty. It is, and I actually like this one. But look, there's orange again. She must really like orange. I like love my it. other two, I have it like instantly liked as much as this one. Mm -hmm. Like this one, I instantly liked, but the other two, I didn't like as much because they were more mostly orangish. So I really like this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to renew it, just because the colors aren't ones that I like. I didn't yet, but I want to. I really like the fiber. I only spun one of them, I, but super nice. I like Fiber Club, but I hate... I hear you. You know what I mean? I hate getting stuff that I don't really like. 
That's the only thing. And it's not like it's bad fiber or anything. It's just the colors are not me. So. Yeah. Anyways. So it's been kind of like a letdown in that aspect. Oh. But I mean, that's like the, the form of uh, fiber clubs. You don't know what you're getting. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Speaking of things in the mail. Kind of. I got some new Jamberry nails. Oh, cool. So excited. Okay, so I was invited to two different parties. One for my neighbor, and her son is autistic. So it was for autism awareness. So even though you weren't hosting the party, I bought from them anyways because it was for a good cause. Yeah. And then the other one was Trish, which, uh, Elizabeth's mommy. Um, so I got lots of new jams. I'm so excited. I'm not going to even say the names cause I can't see them. There's That's spring break. Stripey ones. And these are little like Chuck shoes. That's called going the distance. So cute. <laughs> I think they're great. Um, they are cool. And then these ones you had on the other day. Well, wow. yes, I like emerald like, archive. Like those. And then these are turtles. I know those are cool. So I got two. Those are called half shell. Two sets of the buy three get one. <laughs> yeah. And then I got this, which I think is some sort of beetle. Yeah, so bugged it's called. I have that one too. And then oh. Orange elephants. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't know what that one's called because don't I like don't orange. like. Oh, it's called trunk show. But they're so cute. They're little elephants and they're orange. I love them. And then I got two for the girls because they've liked them. This one's raining cats and dogs. So there's like little cats and dogs and then paw prints. That's cute. And then. This one is painted paisley. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. Um, and I just picked those out for the girls. They both like the the last one, the painted paisley, the best. And I was like, really, Leah? I thought you would like the cats and dog one because you're such an animal lover. But whatever. I know. I sh I showed Bella them, and she liked some of the other ones. And I was like, really, you don't like this one because you love these Boston Terriers so much, right? So, anyways, I just took my nails off yesterday and did a little manicure. Um, they grow so much when I have jams on. It's crazy. I, like, filed them down, and they're still, like, a decent size. So now I need to pick something to put on, and I don't know what. Um, I was texting you with the same exact problem. I know. On Saturday, because I was like, I want to have new noticeable jams because I was kind of I tried something new last week like a, an animal like a gold with gold like a leopard print and I'm so not a leopard print person but I put them on and I used like uh like a one of their special French tips which has the design at the bottom okay and um I uh was like, I want to try some, put something new on because I'm kind of like over these. I've worn them for a week, you know? Yeah. Which you can wear them for longer than a week, but I... I had mine I on, don't. I think, for over two weeks, and none of them had fallen off. They just grown out a lot, and I wanted to try my new one, so I took them off, but I could have left them off. Well, I'm bad because I'm like, oh, look at all these new wraps. I need to try them off. So that's my problem, and that's just me. So anyways, um, I switched, and I like was texting Jessica... And so I switched to actually purple giraffe, which are, um, I love those ones. Retire. My favorite. I wore those and I love them. So I have those. I, that's what I'm wearing. So I switched to those and I did them in the hotel, which is cool. They're like that portable. They are. But, um, I don't know where I was. Oh, so I'm like texting Jessica. I'm like, this is the shirt I'm wearing. What one should I wear? Because Andy's like, oh, you should just wear these. I was like, I don't know. So then. 
They were all good choices. Yeah. And that's just the problem. So, yeah. But I forgot to talk about, I got my monster mug that I wanted. My clay I monster mug. I making out of it. So, I picked this one because it has stars on Aww. it. These are, like, stamped. But, like, look at that. Super cute. And it has a tongue. There were some that had, like, teeth, and I almost got the one with the teeth, but then I saw this one had the stars on it, so I had to get it. That's awesome. So that's my birthday present from January. Very cool. And I was so excited to get it. And she's, like, really nice, and she has, like, some really cool... She had some really... She had, like, other really cool mugs that I almost got. Like, she had mugs that you drink, but they have, like, feet, the, these huge feet that they sit on. Cool. I don't know if I showed um, Gabe made a monster mug. In you should put a picture of it on Instagram. On Instagram. I'm going to pull it up here. Um, it's turned out super cute. And I totally wanted to steal it. That is so cute. You should totally steal it. Um, I will someday. But Does he yeah. use it a lot? Well, one of the feet broke off, so I just had to glue it. Because he's like, they say it's dishwasher safe. And I'm like, I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher. Things that you really like, you just don't do that to. <laughs> but he didn't listen. Um. Anyways. So, yeah. Anything else to talk about? I think I'm kind of done. Well, um, next weekend is um, Pittsburgh Knit and Crochet Fest. So, yeah. No, that's all I have to talk about. We'll see you so next we'll week. See you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.